Hi, today we are going to create some earrings like this one or I want to show you how to manipulate text inside a jewelry design. So I'm going to start with this type of design and I will show you a real life example. Here our customer have made, created them out, out, uh, out of wood by laser cutting. So you can see these designs sell a lot. So I'm going to show you how to manipulate text and turn them into an earring which can be sold like this one. So we will start now. So I'm on my illustrator document, it is ready to go. I will bring up my guide and I will bring my 2 into 2 inch box. Now and by holding control and plus on the keyboard I'm going to zoom in. Again, this 2 into 2 inch box, this one, is 2 inch high and 2 inch wide. This is how big uh, real life earrings are intended to be made. So I'm, what I'm going to do, I keep my, uh, I keep the area right uh, in on this illustrator document so I know how big the earring is going to be in real life. So we will start building earring like this one. And I'm just going to use free resources, whatever comes with Illustrator. There is no fancy uh, download of fonts font is required. So I'm just going to use from here. I'm going to use Arial, and from Arial, I'm going to use the bold type. So the words will have the material thickness. What I'm going to do from here, from Type menu, I'm going to choose Vertical Type Tool. So and type word in caps L O V E love here you go and uh, the size I have chosen is 37 so you can see this is a good size and uh, just think of it as it real life it will cut in some material so it needs thickness uh, to hold the to, uh, to hold its strength when it, when it when it is in use so what I'm going to do now I'm just going to work on this words work on these alphabet so first of all these are one uh, shape and now I'm going to do, uh, increase the thickness a little bit and now I'm going to simply right click and create outlines this is one way of turning this thing this words into object which can be manipulated easily or control Z I'll undo everything I'll can select this go to object expand and fill an object will be changed into objects which are separate now what I can do I can right click and ungroup now every word is different like this you can see so what I'm going to do I'm going to bring them near and bring this near and bring this near and select all of those select align to artboard and bring them in the middle and what I'm going to do now I see that this is ready here on the top of it I'm going to put the uh, hole for jump ring or earring hardware I, I can make it a little bit bigger so I'm going to select all of this by holding shift and alt I'm going to and by holding this handle by with my mouse I'm going to increase its size a little bit so you can see this earring is almost done now it is maybe I'll make it a little smaller so it stays under two inches high and I'm going to align it in the center now I want to look at this design uh, closely that every letter should be touching the other letter with so it when it is fused together when I will expand and unite them they will 
the the the, the, the joint between the letters will be strong so I will bring them a little bit up like that and this V is looking like problematic so I'm going to bring it a little more up like this and E is in good shape so you can see it is ready it is something like this now how to finish this design first of all I'll check the alignment that they are right in the middle what I'm going to do oh one more thing I'm going to make a copy just to be safe and I'm going to select all object expand and unite now this is let me remove my guide so you can see now this is a one object and we change the color this is one object now and you can check it in the layer menu you can see here that this is one compound path so this is good to go and I'll bring up my guides again just to keep everything confined in 2 into 2 inch area so now I'm going to just align to the center right like this now how to create this hole this jump ring or earring hardware where a uh, hole where it is. so for that now what I'm going to do first of all I'm going to select a dimension for jump ring just make a circle oh. just make a circle like go to ellipse tool here just make a circle we will fix the dimension and for the jump ring I'm going to choose another color maybe and for the jump ring I'm going to choose ellipse again click once and I work in inches I want to make them 0.11 inch because this is the right kind of thickness which will allow the jump ring to go through this design easily so now I'm going to put this here put this circle here let's see how it looks now I'm going to put this together right here I will remove my guides so this is in the 2 into 2 inch area so that is good now we are going to work with this design and what I'm going to do is check that if this is uh, attaching to the word easily now I'm going to work on these two circles to make them aligned properly for that I'm going to go to align to selection select this circle and select this circle and horizontal align center and vertical align center so you can see now these are neat and nice and these also have enough area around them where to to work properly with the material most probably it is going to be wood or acrylic so what I'm going to do I'm going to now bring them together and see that they are aligned properly because here it will require some eyeballing because the L is the only letter to which I'm attaching this jumping hole so this looks like it is right in the middle and now I'm going to select this and select word love and check properly that this I will bring it I what I'm looking at is this joint so I want it to be really good joint and no with no extra anchor point so I will bring it a little bit up like this and you can see this is almost done so I'm going to select this circle and select this word object expand unite from pathfinder you can find pathfinder from going to window and pathfinder and my panel is always here always so this design is done now this is one entity and this is another one so I'm going to now punch this hole through this word 
what I'm going to do, I'm going to just select both of those and go to Pathfinder and use minus front. And here you go. Change the color to red. So this design is ready. The love earrings which we have created, I have made a presentation and you can see the different uses. You can make earrings or a pendant. This design is available for free from my Creative Fabrica store. If you go there, you can find a free design here and if you click on it, uh, you can download this file for free now and experiment with this design and please join us on Wednesdays and Saturdays when we post the video if you learn if you want to learn how to make SVG cut files for uh, the earring or jewel design thank you the link of this file will be in the description take care